Have you ever seen a dice tower that is also a wine dispenser? I'm going to show you how to 3D print this. Let's see how I sliced it. Welcome guys to another tutorial. Today we are going to talk about this model. It's from the bag and fine boxes drop from Mastial Flix. The link for the platform is on the description. All right, guys, most of these models from this drop will be made by big parts and then we can glue them together. So I also would say most of the parts, almost all of them, don't need supports. They are easy to print. We have a good area of adhesion between the print and the build plate, so we don't have so much trouble printing all those files. My main recommendation here will be about productivity, since we have some big prints in front of us. Since this model in here, it's highly detailed, but also big, we don't need to decrease the layer height. This will make a lot of printing time wasted unnecessarily. So I will recommend you to increase the layer height 0.28 and this print will still looking good. Okay. And then we will save a lot of printing time in here. Also, I will recommend you uh, because we are going to increase the layer height as well, we are going to increase the extrusion width. I'm going to increase 15% because we are with 0.28 millimeters per second. You can increase 15% or 20% in the extrusion width, and this will be enough to keep the adhesion between the layers because we are increasing the distance between each layer of the print, and now we are increasing this wall as well the amount of material being extruded from the nozzle all right so those are the only change that i would do in here my infill settings will be the same my speed as well and maybe if you wanted to decrease the printing time as well you can change the infill pattern and the density if you want i will keep the same and then you can slice it so just looking here guys we have the rocks texture the dragon texture as well. So increasing the layer height, it won't make in this looking worse, okay? Actually, we will look the same because it's a big part, it's a big print, so it's going to look almost the same and we are going to save a lot of time, almost eight hours uh, from the 0 0.2 standard profile, okay? So this is my only recommendation. You can save some time in here, increasing those values, and I hope it works fine for you. Uh, we don't have so much trouble with supports and other things. This is an easy print to do. It's just a long one. And I hope you learned something from this video. And I see you at the next one. I hope you guys enjoy it. Those slicing videos are an initiative from STL Academy, which is the educational project from Astelflix. So if you guys want to learn more about 3D printing, you could check our description and look at STL Academy courses. And don't forget, see you guys at the next slicing. Thank <laughs> you.